I don't know. I I've been watching you for a long long time in terms of what you share on connecting the dots. Personally, I'm very inspired that you know, as uh, as much as you've gone through all your life in terms of all the difficulties of and challenges of having children, bring up them, and all the businesses alongside with you, you are able to actually empower women to find their own self-confidence, to connect the dots in their life so that they can live a life purposefully and break through their own self-limiting beliefs. And I think that is a great gift that you are gifting to the world and to all the women out there to know that they can be on their own with or without a partner. They can actually create their own life for themselves. To thank Dai Gang for the opportunity did not only show me who I am, but it only it also showed me what I can give to others, people who are just like us, people who need someone to support them, people who really need someone to inspire them. Yeah, I do thank Dai Downey for this opportunity. I have to be somebody better today. I have to be better somebody tomorrow. Dee Downey, and her story in the introduction was so inspiring, and she told us that it is possible for women to take up their space. I get the clarity. I connected to their heart as to what's important. And then I start to go and put that together in a book solid products and services and make it a What is it that you're passionate about? And how can you take advantage of what's going on in front of us? The opportunities are there. They're not just local, they're global. And we can fit into it. Be down for me. She spoke to me and I'm inspired to work. Translate that and shape that, those thoughts and ideas into skills that we can transfer to change this world. And doesn't it really need change in Doesn't it really need people who are passionate, progressive, and self evolving? Where do we want to go? I think it's really time for us to define and develop our ideas so that we can create new realities. Have you ever felt like in school or growing up, sometimes you never really taught how to succeed? Or even if you do, you are taught how to succeed, um, you learn about goal setting and working towards working towards that, um, which I think is great, but I think that there's a huge flaw in, in a, an area that you're totally neglecting. You know, when you learn how to do this stuff, if you ever do, instead of thinking about the whole logical process of what you need to do or what your values, the values that you stand by, your innermost needs that you need to satisfy to be able to succeed, really, not even just in your career or any of your projects, but just in life in general. And the reason why I like Dive Products, she has really simple step-by-step -step process processes for you to easily understand. And I think one of the things that really stood out was um, I would rather spend more time up front planning and understanding myself to be able to be successful in the future than walking around aimlessly for a year or two trying to figure out what the heck to do. It's really super simple. Dai is very, um, she's very helpful and she's very accessible and she'll help you if you learn to help yourself. Dai has made it so easy for me to gather my thoughts in my head, Dai Downey, and she actually is an inspiration to all women. I am very inspired by her empowerment for ladies. So I recommend Dai to your, or, your audience because she brings an international presence, a creative eye, and a kind word. Thank you. Class. Elegance. 
poise and a funky accent are the ways that I would describe Die Down. I will have your back. Uh, like some of the points at Die that you've raised about listening, about women coming into their softness and being vulnerable. And I appreciate what you have shared with me. It just empower me, not only women, but men as well, to being able to uh, have the skills of speak from their heart and overcome situations like that. Thank you, Dad. session with Di Downey, and it's been incredible. It's reaffirmed the journey that, that I'm on and some of the steps that I need to take to get myself to the global stage. And I particularly liked uh, the emphasis on passion and passion leading to purpose. And that we get shown pictures, I certainly get shown pictures about what, where I'm going to be and what I'm going to be doing and the directions I need to go in. So that was really a great take home to pay more attention, how to structure things as well and be global and also give you credibility and enhance your product. Thank you, Di. It's been a wonderful afternoon. Hi, Di Downey. Personally, for someone who has been going through life and not knowing what they want and do not know how the different parts of the life, what we have been through, how it pieced together, it is really very absolutely important for people, for anyone to be able to find what they are here to do, what's their life purpose and what should they be doing to, for themselves in their life. So it is really a very wonderful job that you are doing. Thank you, Di. Yeah, thank you, Di. So thank you so much, Di. All I got to say, Di, is thank you. Welcome to Holiday Breakthrough Webinar. And I, the first question that I would like to ask is, and you can unmute yourself, I think, is what do you want to take away from today? And then what do you want to take away if you were to actually go through the Holiday Breakthrough Program, which I'm going to show you the dates and the times and the structure in this webinar. But what is it that you think you want to take away? What is it that you need? You can unmute yourself. Hi, everyone. Hi, Mel. How are you? Hello. What do you, what do you want to take away now that you've just done two Connect Do Dots programs? And there's a lot of things that you have in place now. But so where do you want to go between now and the middle of January? Well, I like the idea of what you said before, that it would be about planning for next year and that we don't really have to wait until New Year's, like we can start putting a plan in place now. So I've kind of grown to put my head around that, that that's what we're doing. And yeah, so I've never actually, um, although you've, showed me how to do it and I've had all the tools there I never got to do it just because of life or whatever is going on or not completing um but I've never mastered you know the calendar the social media calendar or having a plan like whether it's in a calendar format or I'm going to do this in March I'm going to have this by July like maybe I have done those like wish lists and sometimes like vision boards where you just throw anything and everything out there, but probably like a, an actual genuine achievable plan. It's beautiful because that's what this is all about. And this is what I do. You know that when I started my mentorship in 2018 or whatever it was, is that I started it before the year ended. And that was purposely done because change comes from the outside, not from the inside. Change? Oh, I've never really heard of that one before. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, most people say, oh, if you want to make change, you know, start to think about your thinking and your mindset and all this sort of stuff. But basically, how did we get that change to happen in the first place? We saw something, we recognized something, we wanted oh, yeah. something. That makes sense, yeah. The example that I always think of is the Robert Kiyosaki scenario when he wrote his, if you want to be happy, don't go to school book, which was a total flop. And then he wrote something like how to be rich, you know, I don't know, it's, it's here somewhere, the, the, the big famous one with the, with the quadrant on it. He, when he wrote his first book, he wrote it directly to the education system of the planet. And, it, no, and everybody hated it because he was going from within the education system. And then he realized from a Buckminster Fuller principle is that you need to start from the outside. 
Yeah, that makes sense. I didn't know that. He didn't right. want to. He didn't want. He, he realized that he didn't. It's not his job to change the system. It's his job to educate, mm. and educate his and transfer his message. So that's the example that I always think of and that I share in that. Who else is really clear on what they think they want to have as a breakthrough between now, or between the middle of December and the middle of January? Yeah, Kate. Um, well, uh, I shared on the WhatsApp uh, thing uh, my... Uh, creativity center, but uh, in my head, I'm calling it my clarity center, um, because I think that's the biggest breakthrough and takeaway that I've been able to activate and maintain. Um, I, like Mel, had great ideas to do the homework every time, but somehow getting the concept of who I am and what I wanted wasn't clear. And my connection to my deepest self um, got uh, enabled in a great way. Or act, it, um, the things that I was allowing to block but not knowing I was allowing from one of your latest exercises and then another client on the show said that he realized that he knew the truth about me but the verbalization about a partner's experience of him didn't coincide and he stuck to his own guns and then pennies dropped and dropped and dropped and in the process, I was able to do the same for myself and relieve this enormous grieving process I was going through that was gumming up the works and realizing that my perception of me was very valid and time to be in practice. And in less than a week, you can see on the pictures, and now, this morning when I got up, I, I went straight to the desk and looked in the calendar. <clears throat> well, oh, I haven't done that. Um, literally forever. I would do it at work when I got to work because there was a work calendar, but I never had a plan in my life. And now I have the desire to be able to have contact on my website a welcome gift who joins my Facebook group and to activate the tools that I identified I don't have in one of your previous exercises and I activated a part of one today getting a uh, I'll call it autoresponder email service uh, actually signed up for it and <laughs> it's like I freaked but here's the deal. I decided just because I don't know what to do with it. Now I got it. It'll fall into place when all the other tools are there. If I just keep going. But I sat down at the desk with enthusiasm. I haven't had that since I don't know when. And more importantly, I actually see people signing up and wanting to learn from me. Before I thought it was impossible. Now I don't think it's impossible. So what I hear you say is now you have your creative center, which is your desk, your computer, your papers, you're still archiving, is that you now want to be able to put a plan into place so that you can build a list in your new autoresponder and then offer what you now know you can offer because you now know that people want it. Precisely. Beautiful. And I made homework for tomorrow. I'm giving a gift of my little PDF that I have staunchly refused to add the pictures. I've already collected the pictures, but put them, collate them into the words and then make it a PDF. Fabulous. So you, you know how to do that. That's and a definite thing for tomorrow. Fantastic. So I will go find your list. So I'm on your list. Big pardon? 
I will find your list. Send me the link so that I can find what, you know, so we can support you. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome, Patricia. What, what is it that you want to take away? If you were to do this holiday breakthrough, which you don't know yet because you don't know the dates and you don't know what's going to be in it, but if you were to do something that was going to catapult you into 2021, what, would it, what do you think you need? You need to unmute. Oh, sorry. That's hi. okay. Hi. Hi, Welcome. everybody. Nice First to see all, you. I want to say hi to Mel, Kate, and uh, congratulations <laughs> on, on, your, on your progress. Uh, and I'm very happy for you both. Um, thank you, Dai. Uh, I, I, first of all, I wanted to say that I, uh, with uh, uh, between the last uh, uh, two months, I have been able to uh, go like a um, plan better uh, my website, both of the of them. And uh, right now, I am in the process to both business, you know, uh, like a take off in. in, in different ways but my my um goal is actually right now to have the prototype of my bag this year and uh you know i'm putting the you know at the most uh, by um the first semester which is until june and um, so that means that i want to produce a bag by 2021 and that's my goal and um, i know i have to be uh, working also you know doing uh, uh marketing and um, uh, creating the excitement that you were mentioned before and uh, that's in the in the back prospect for um, a, a company that I, i'm doing you know um consulting um i am about the same you know i just finished my website that i sent to you before you know the link is yes. still a little bit it's still both of them uh, have to you know improve in many many ways but it's a, a start point and then, um, yeah, but definitely I want to go, I want to move forward with both business. Um, and the, uh, one of my dreams also is to do the, uh, uh, what we were talking before, my, uh, you know, the spiritual uh, mindfulness, uh, you know, videos and, and, and you know, uh, maybe, you know, start something like to help people to overcome situation and especially you know when they have conflicts with their belief and everything but i haven't done anything about that yet to be honest i haven't I, this is something like a um I, it is in back in my mind but i haven't done anything i wasn't able to do anything about it i i don't know if because it's, it's a lack of confidence in terms of uh, what i can you know pass to people uh, i don't know it's still a little bit all <laughs> all mixed stuff over there but i uh, definitely the, the, the two first that's what i wanted to see next year for sure i wanted to have you know that you know not just a project i wanted that become a real thing and um and that's some uh, you know a goal that i have that I, i'm really determined to accomplish next year so so yeah. what i what i hear um patricia is that there could be three categories for you one is your bag one is your consulting and one is your spirituality and your bag is stepping out the process to get the bag model by the end of 2021. Right. The second right. one is to maybe finish and get clarity around your consulting and actually start marketing to get consulting clients. Correct. Yes. And then yes. the third one is start to flesh out what are some of the tools that you use that you could teach that will help people spiritually in their lives to get to where they want to go or whatever the goal is of where you want to take them to. So there is maybe three projects. Right, right. There are three pro very different projects. Mm -hmm. and, and the spiritual project, unfortunately, it's really behind. I know I'm not, I haven't been able to do anything about it. Yeah. So, but I, I, I wanted to do at one point, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do next year. Uh, hopefully, yes, but because it's something I wanted to do, but uh, at least to get it started, right? And then I, I, wanted, I, I wanted to write a book about it because I have a lot of, of my personal experience that I can pass. So for that purpose, I wanted to talk to you about, about that because I know you have, you know, uh, written a lot of books and, and this is the book that I really would like to to have for uh, uh, first for my 
my family, my kids to, you know, <laughs> give something to them, but also, you know, for, for everybody who needs, you know, some, uh, that type of, uh, of um, guidance. But uh, yeah, so that, that would be my, you know, my dream goal to do that, to have that, to write up the, that book uh, as well. But I don't know, hopefully, you know, I can do it. Uh, no, 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 I mean, Maybe you know if I, if I put that in in my mind in the purpose that I, I can do next year, but I, I I haven't really to be honest. What do you think? Do you think that I, I think can? That any, I think that anything's possible if you start to actually write it down and flesh it out, and then you've got people to bounce around with an idea with. I think yeah. anything's possible. I would not have thought that my book would be my next book was going to be ready in May, but after my meeting yesterday with the lady that's helping me. It will definitely uh -huh. be ready by May. I thought it would be the end of 2021, but we've just oh. shifted the whole launch for it to May. It might be June, July, but who knows? Oh, that was, that's awesome. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, I mean, I, I have reading uh, from the past few years, you know, like a little things here and there. And then I have some, you know, um, let's say um, um, drafts about it, but... Um, yeah, so I, I mean, I, I just stopped to do it, and then I, I, I think that that probably would be a good thing actually to do it, right? And then get it that done too. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. there's no reason why, and there's no reason yeah. why that book couldn't go out for the three separate um, air the projects if it's constructed correctly. So this is about you. Right. That could be your first book. This is about you, where you've come from, what you're doing, what your dreams are. Yeah. These right. are your projects. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. Yeah. I think that anyway. makes so much sense. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, let's move on. I think that that's great. I think that the, that the three of you are really clear and I'm super clear as to what my plan is already done. It's already fleshed out. Um, the themes are already done, but that's what we're going to be talking about today. And I'm going to go through it quite quickly. Okay. Um, you already know, and I'm not going to play this video, but you already know that I started off as a very, you know, I started off with absolutely no skills. And now at the age that I am, I've built my skills up where I've traveled the world and, you know, I, I have really created a very, very clear message. And this will go into a certification in 2021 so that people will be able to use some of the tools that I have developed, which I'm really super excited about. And Again, you have all met my grandma. You have all met my four year, my four grade teacher, and you've all met my half brother because you know that my story, like we all have stories that help me to realize the type of person that I was and some of the obstacles that I needed to get overcome because we all have, some people would call it emotional baggage, but we all have stories that once we start to grab them from the back of us, our history and start to plant them into our body and we accept them that we can then actually move on. And so I think more than ever, 2020 has really opened up the planet to us. But I think on a, on a very different level than what I was talking about a year ago. And the, that level is now people's consciousness has just catapulted, it's grown. It's people are now languaging really what is important to them. They are languaging how they want to connect, who they want to connect with. What are some of the things that they hate doing? I've never heard this language before. And I've never heard this level of commitment, I suppose, in lots of ways from people is that people have really started to action what it is that they want to be able to do and I think that in one level that's fantastic and on another level for people that are really starting out to build a list get their message clear is that's a downside because you're not ahead of the curve so how can you get ahead of the curve and I believe that one of the ways that I've been able to get ahead of the curve is that I've been able to have a structure for me, so that even though I could, I might want to change it, I was at least I had a clear pathway that I could always go back and start to do I want to do this? Do I not want to do this? This is what I was going to do. No, now this is important. This is the what I'm going to be doing for this month. And so one of the tools that I I found really, really interesting and useful for me was to actually find out where I am now. And we don't have time to go through all of these inner distinctions, but all of you have done training with me on some level. 
And so where are you now? So Patricia, you might be saying, well, you're in transition around your spiritual program. But with your bag, you are definitely building the website with your bank because you're actually creating a specific model and that's making you grow but it's also growing the presence and the whole project of the bag so uh, is it going to go global yes it is going to go go global and i was speaking to somebody the other day and they said no i don't want to go global i just simply want to be growing my business in our city in our state and so like uh, some of the things that Kate's doing at the moment is she's experimenting what's working, not what's not working, taking away the fear of enrolling in something, even though she doesn't know what next is coming. Right. So be aware of, I think it's important to re recognize the stage that you are in, in the project that you are thinking about. Mel has two projects. Kate has one big project. So what, are the stage what's the stage that you are in personally and then what is the stage that you that project is in and then of course some of these areas like well-being is one of my key words and I speak about well-being I also speak about entrepreneurialism where are you going to put your bag producer is it going to fit in the entrepreneurialism sector are you going to use entrepreneur as a keyword somebody like Mel she may use, or especially Regina, would be definitely transformational. But Regina may also, um, Mel may also use and be in the digital transformation area or communication. So what area are you positioning yourself in by using your values and how those values translate to your keywords? There's some of the things that we're going to be speaking about and getting really clear and putting actually hashtags and searching the hashtags and putting them in your plan. Like given me, it's helped me get focused. Yes, and that's, I mean, you have to do that. Uh, what I've gained is a process and some focus to stop like, whoa, the bigger kind of all over the clouds into uh, these are the deliverables that can bring in the people who are looking for what I can offer. Thank you. I so appreciate you being there, Di. Thank you for all you do. Lots of love to you and your family. I think Cheryl said it really well, even though she you know, waved her arms around, but she, 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 like Mel, has two very big projects. And she had to chunk it down, realize what what stage she was at, what areas they belonged into, and then put focus and a plan to both those positions. And it's the focus and the like really like Patricia's done this year, the focus and a chunking down to be able to get those two websites up and running. And now, okay, what is she going to do with them? And then will she develop the third project? So the solution really is that focus to gain the clarity. So hopefully in the next 30 minutes, I would, even now, I'm hoping that you have some clarity on what are some of the things that you have to have in place and then an opportunity not only to direct your ideas but your passions to a hardcore plan. And all of you here have already identified what those are. And then you have already seen what and hopefully you've written down what, what is the position that you want to take to lead your market and then how are you going to differentiate that? And that's what everybody says. I'm not, not saying anything new here. So one of the ways that I have been taught to break down my material is to break it into three steps. But a lot of people go three, five, seven, or an acronym. So when I say three steps, mine are define, develop and direct, but you may go, well, I would prefer my information to be delivered in an in acronym or in seven steps or in five steps. In my case, I've done three. So Di, the, for my life cycle compass, mine are, is the neutralize, the neutralize, energize, wealthify, synergize. Isn't that right? The yes. Four, yeah, four elements. Yeah. Yes. I yes. never got to that part with Joel where I actually understood it. Yeah, but I get it. Yeah. Yeah. So you. So um, if you wanted to do the the four, I mean, he specifically says four isn't a good number for Asia. 
I know. It's and so he funny. goes three, he I doesn't see. go three, five, seven acronym. Uh, my research says three, five, seven acronym. Yeah, I know it's, it's an ongoing dilemma for me, but yeah, it is what it is. So it is what it is and you need to decide. I think the main thing is that you decide what it is. You decide what your words are, then you start to break down what those words mean to you and then you start to create some content around it, which then leads to Patricia, your book. It really it leads to your videos. It leads to your social media. Everything comes comes out of that really. So that has been a really helpful process for me. And for me, this year has been confusing because I have had to... And I've loved it, but I have had to take on a different role personally, as in being a grandmother and then helping my other daughter go through IVF, who now is pregnant and is due in February. And so my whole oh, life, I know, it's so exciting, isn't it? So exciting. It's, like, it's so exciting. And, you know, there's so many great things that come out of getting to an age where you become a grandmother. And there's also some confusing things because there's, it's a very different role. And that has actually changed some of the information that's gone into my three categories. That's why I put, that's why I put it in here. And I'm sure that Patricia, you will really relate to that as you, you know, you, you're living in Canada right now because you have a daughter that's going to university there. I mean, that's, it's yeah. very, it's a totally, you just come from a different position when your life changes. Yeah. And Mel, you know, Mel has had an experience with her son that again, opens up a different perception. And then how does that affect those three, five, seven or acronym pieces of information that you want to transfer to people in whatever project it is. So most of you have seen this diagram, but I think that at this point is as a reminder, what are some of the main flex points? Because these are the things that you're going to be sharing with your customers. You know, like I saw on Patricia's site, she used, she explains what her bag means. It's her children's names. And it's very beautiful. It tells, it really just tell, it really tells her story. It tells why she created the bag, the name of the bag. And so being able to gather those photos, those stories as we get older. And in my case, you know, start to become grandparents. It's like, as you're leading up to a crescendo in your life at this point, whether it's launching the book or whether it's, you know, taking care of a mother or having grandchildren, whatever it is, how can you be really, even for Mel right now, you know, that's what you went through Mel with your son I went through similar times with my daughter and I thought, gee, I learned so much in that time. So much from my daughter who was so disruptive and so she was not grateful, but it taught me a lot of lessons that I've then taken through my life and I've shared with other people, not only personally, but also in my business. So I think that very point helps by collecting archives from your history it, it shows in your brand, it shows in how you dress, it shows in how you present yourself, it shows in how we talk. And I think um, Helen, I always think of Helen in this case, because I worked with her in the 1990s. But it wasn't until 2001 that she was, she really got clear as to what her, she valued and then was able to turn that into being able to see what she tolerated, which then started to move her life out of drama so that she could clearly define the way to move forward for her for her as a grandmother at that point in 2001 so my second word on my second distinction here and i'm showing you this because one i've already mentioned that my book this book is this this diagram comes out of this book um, and I would do this very differently now. This was written five years ago. It was done in a hurry for a TV show in New York. And now I talk about four visions. So I ask you, what are your four visions? What are the visions for your business, for you personally, for your family, and then for your relationship? Not what is your vision? So if you are able to, before you started the Holiday Breakthrough Program, to be able to work out what are those four visions that you have, what are the pictures, and you might go and get them from where you have come from and then embellish them 
and say this is what doesn't work but this is what does work so you might have two pictures of your four visions a tool it's just a, it's it's a simple tool and then when you're thinking about each vision and this is a an example that I, that I actually shared the other day is that this building here it's not a building it's a facade that went into a building the wall is something like six meters tall by 20 meters long and this facade our events company built and it was built to hide the concrete cancer that's behind this facade for a shopping complex in Perth Western Australia my point is here we could have made any theme on this we could have made it I don't know, we could have made it Australiana theme. We could have just done black curtains. We could have done just white. But what we did is we chose a theme for Italy. So what is your theme for each one of your visions? And then how can you break up your direction into themes? That's another area that we're going to be concentrating on, all based on what is important to you. And then everybody knows my routines here and they're all based on translating your values into your keywords and your routines and rituals, then being able to eliminate those tolerations, which we've already talked about, and then being able to translate the, your personal needs into your, the way that you are able to connect not only to your global audience, which is what Kate's starting with her autoresponder, but also be able to translate what that connection is with people that you're in touch with all the time your family which I actually just spoke about on a stream yard that I just did is what are some of the areas that you could improve your connection with by being aware as to what you want to break through I think most of you have done my values and my needs your needs program but if you were to think about connection and if somebody's watching the replay if you were to think about connection, and there are more values that are related to connection, but these are the three top one that people choose. What is it or how is it that you want to connect? Are you clear on how you want to connect? And I use the word connection because that's what everybody wants right now after this pandemic. The art of connection is just going to keep growing and it's going to keep growing through people telling their stories. So what are your stories? What are your flex points? And then how do you want to set up to be connected to the people that want to buy your bag, want to do your spirituality programs, want to be healed by you? And what, are they, what does it mean? No, what, what do these words mean? Kate, I absolutely love this video. Hi, Danny. Thank you very much for helping me understand what I need to start an online business as a woman entrepreneur. I didn't quite get that you really needed a floor plan, uh, beginning, middle and end, and then not only for the outside, meaning the business building, but inside myself, am I meeting all my needs through building this business or are some of my needs getting in the way? of me building this business. Very provocative learning, very powerful. Thank you. Kate, I think you said it really clearly is that we both we need both sides. We need the inside and we need the outside to be able to build these businesses. And it's like, I think that that's why Patricia has this drive to share what she knows about spirituality, spiritual growth, and what that will do for people because she knows that for her bag to be successful she also needs to be spiritually aligned with it and i think that that's what she's going to be sharing in her program which is super super exciting so i'm simply somebody who just shares what i love shares really who i am I try to be as authentic and as real as I possibly can be. Sometimes that's not possible because I have stuff going on in the background like this little girl. But basically, that's what people want. They just, they simply want to be able to see us as to who we are, what we're doing, what is our lifestyle. Like this morning at the beach this morning, I did a Facebook Live. My hair was all over the place. It was really windy. You could hardly hear me. But it's like people, people want to be connected with us. 
it's it's we don't have to make it all pretty and perfect and i think that that's been one of my biggest learnings and so over the years i have had many many passions and i think that that's one of the things that has confused me to put together my clear message but what is it that um my passions have able to be able to give to my family and so for example my corn dolly book here my corn dolly business was able to put food on the table when we were in drought years and i think a lot of you have heard that and it went on for about 10 years and it put on it it, it gave us the basics of how we could live and I, that also gave me the independence my beauty therapy business, my cosmetology, my um, healing modality programs that I used to learn and then facilitate, you know, that, that really put our kids through school. It helped to pay off our, pro one, our main um, house that we lived in, our property, our farm. And I did a lot of, started to write things then, not that I'm a very good writer, but I was able to start to really get clear as to what was I doing in cosmetology? I was really helping to be, build people's self-confidence and helping them to educate themselves so that they could do it themselves. And then while we had that business running, when I had that business running, I would work in that during the week. And then on weekends, I would be helping my husband run our flower farm, growing wildflowers selling wildflowers the kids used to do little tours with the bus the buses that come in and show them what flowers you know were blooming and what the names were our kids still laugh about it but that that created our like holiday money and so my passions and my ability to be able to turn my passions into something that I love to do and still be able to monetize it has been a gift and that's basically what i share and i didn't realize but some of you have seen this i don't know where my news article is now but this new news article was written in 1994 and so that's how long i have been coaching for and I, I wouldn't say that i coach anymore because i don't believe coaching works i mentor people i help people to get clear what is it that you are actually doing even though you might be healing or you might be selling real estate or you might be giving people a bag what are you really doing from what you're passionate about that what is that key word what is that value that you are want to you want to transfer to people i just found out what my purpose was and that's what i came here for it was one of the things I wanted to discover here in Sydney. And I didn't discover it in the seminar, but I discovered it with you because you just helped me so much. Thank you so much, Leigh Downey, because I'm so glad. And for me, I think we can live our purpose by selling ice creams. It's like how we do it. Are we passionate about what we are really delivering? It's not about our passion so much, but it's about how we do it. It's about what value... Are you reenacting at that point of your life? So this is a slide that I got made about five, about four years ago. And it actually has helped me this slide because it not only shows the cogs in my head moving, but it also showed me that my key word is about freedom. It's about helping people to become free from their unlimited beliefs, but also being able to develop their books and their websites and their processes. So what is your keyword? What can you put into place that you can see like this slide, and it might not be this slide, but what is that you could put into place and maybe you put it on your phone so that it actually keeps you on track around what is it that you want to deliver to the world? What is it that you, that key word that you want to shift people to? What is your, what's your bag doing for people, Patricia? What's your consulting really doing? What's your spirituality programs really doing? Are they creating freedom? Are they helping people to be clear? What are they really, really doing? Can you come up with a specific clear statement, like no more than four or five words? Or one clear word. Mine are freedom and clarity. Confusion to clarity, frustration to freedom. What are the two or three things that you are actually doing for people? Because what that will do is it will align yourself with your values. 
It will help you to come up with questions for you, which is what I spoke about in my stream yard today. But it will also help you to um, come up with a bunch of words that are similar when you are starting to get a very clear presence online. Because then you can just look those words up in thesaurus. It's pretty easy. So this, this slide is particularly for you, Patricia. It's the books that I have written. So that one is the very first one that I did, which is just a downloadable one. Even though I have it as a printout that people can take away, like if I'm doing a seminar, like I took this to Africa, had 100 printed or something like that, and then I was able to give it away and I was able to sign it for people. This one, which I've shown you already, is on Amazon. So I'm showing you these because what sort of book do you want? Are you going to do the whole Amazon self-publishing or are you going to do a book, a hard, a big proper hardcover proper, and then putting it through a publishing agent? And then I would then recommend that you have some free giveaway books on specific subjects. So like this is my Mind Your Own Business book. It's an opt-in. This is How to Thrive. I think it's more about um, how to thrive in your business, but from your personal, you know, from your personal foundation. Then this one is about being able to develop. Um, is that about your business? Oh no, the, this this first one up here. This is my vision book, which is what how I, I wrote that going to Japan. Then this is my business book. Get these confused. And then this is the one that I wrote in a day, which I was challenged to write. I don't particularly like it, but it's again another book. It's another download. So my whole reason for putting this slide in is what subjects can you write a little mini Word document that you could turn into a PDF, get someone to put a cover on it. You could have an opt-in form and then you can start giving that away to help people come to you because I recommend that you have five or six or seven or eight. So that people, whatever subject that you're talking on, which is what we're going to break down in that plan. If you're talking about you have a theme of X, then that book will go with that X for that month. And you might do that twice a year. So you're starting to get super clear on what your information is. And then you actually have a little product or something that you can send out to people. They're mine. So now I love this because it's like, we can always keep delaying things, but I don't think anybody here knows is going, to, is going to be delaying anything. And I also don't think that anybody here is, is on a boat between a rock and a hard place. I think that you are all on your sailboats, you know, with a really strong udder, rudder. So what I plan to put into place for and finish off for myself while we're working, middle of December to the middle of January, is to be able to get all your ducks in a row for 2021. And really, what that's doing is it's taking your ideas that you have in your head and then it's molding them to what's important to you. And then over time, you're starting to develop not only your plans, but then I would want to be starting to be really specific on your products, your books, your downloads, your gifts, so that then you're starting to get, okay, by this day, I want this URL to be up because I want a little PDF of 10 pages and it's going to be on the subject of X. So this is the, yes, this is the program. And did I put in, yes, I did. So this is the program and this is the link to get to the program. And then these are the times for the workshops. And what I've done is I've structured it and I just changed this the other day because I thought oh, this may work better for people. And I haven't decided whether I'm going to run with this because I actually want at least 10 people to make it, um, to make it more interactive. So for me right now, what, we're, what I'm proposing is all, everything's 11 a.m. Perth, West Australian time. December 15, 16, 17, 22, 29. So right up to the 22nd takes us to Christmas and then one session between Christmas and New Year. And then we go miss the week around New Year. And we go 5, 7, 12, 19 of January. They are the dates that I'm proposing for the first 
through four, 15, 16, 17, and 20 second, I'm proposing 30 minute time slot. So that it's short, it's sharp. This is what you need to do. And I'm proposing one hour of assignment after each session. So you would have an, an hour, I would allocate an hour after each session for 15, 16, 17, 22 and 29. Then going into the January dates, five, seven, 12 and nine, the sessions will go to 1.5 hours. And then there will be again another hour or hour and a half of homework to be able to get to what, where we want to go to. I don't think I put the plan in this presentation, but you can go to this um, website, this, um, yeah, this URL, which is Die Downy Holiday Breakthroughs, which I think I actually had up. Did I have up? Yeah, I did. Beautiful. More organized than I thought. Ah, oh, yes, that's what, that's the program outline. So um, that's what I have designed. But as all of you know here, we're going to do specifically what you need. And that's why I don't want to take any more than 10, but I want more than three or four. Which is what we did in the last Connect Your Dots. It worked extremely well because we were able to work on specific people's specific needs. Is that what you mainly got out of it, Mel? In the last Connect Your Dots? You'll have to unmute. When Kate said that she wanted the assignments more relevant last time, and um, yeah, I loved it. And I haven't done any, I haven't done much of the practical or life cycle compass since then. Like I'm still making notes and each day something comes to my mind and I'll go jot it down. But um, yeah, I'm excited because yeah, like Patricia, like whatever re for whatever reason, the most important one is on the back burner or Maybe it's just divine timing. I don't know. But yeah, this is what I want to do. The life cycle compass with this and it would be great. So I think what you're saying, and this is what I heard everybody's feedback was, is because it was a small group, everybody could work specifically on what they needed to do. It wasn't general at all. Yes, we spoke general, but then we had enough time each time to go, okay, you need to come back with that. You need to come back with this. You're doing this, so focus on this bit. Yeah, and it was so powerful because even though we're all working on our own projects with different topics, it was still full circle, that it was all relevant to each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So this is what's actually going to be in it. And I've tried to make this as, as interactive as possible. Some of you already know how to develop that frame, framework for your brand. But also really define who is your client for each one of those projects like narrow it down and then concentrate on it. And then by doing that, the plan then will be directly related to where you're going to go, what you're going to do, what you need to do, who you're talking to and who you want to partner with. And then being able to define those biggest flex points so that you can use some of that from your values to be able to create some of your assets like your books, your websites, and so that it's all reflected in that. And then to be able to develop a core promise in each one of those projects, in, in the case of Mel and Patricia. And then to be able to develop your archive, which is related to being able to do that, which all comes from your assets. And then being able to um, well, you won't be able to totally get the or the ins and outs of your model, although somebody like Kate may be able to because she's done so much work on this. But I think the model is really important to be able to walk away with for the with the plan. But also the themes for each of the months and each of the projects is really important. I think to give your brain focus to to stimulate the pictures in your mind. And then of course the biggest takeaway is to be able to specifically have you know, conversations and questions and answers around specific topics. And I think that's the whole, that's what makes this quite a different type of program in lots of ways. So to a point, I can absolutely guarantee this, but to another point, if you don't do the work and what 
what is your outcome that you want? Is it that you want to triple your income? I don't know, but we're going to find that out the, right at the very beginning to find out if you're a zero, what income do you want? And so it's what or what, what income do you want, but what, what income do you need? But in Patricia's case with her bag, it may be not about the income, but can she actually get that model of that bag done by the end of 2021? Or maybe she wants it done by October, so she's not mucking around with it during Christmas. So they're the sorts of things that I would absolutely guarantee, not just the financial. And of course, I would give, I would give your money back. I will actually give you money back, but I'll also pay you your investment back if you do the assignments and that you are able to put in place what's put in the recording so that you actually are clear. Or if you're not clear that you actually come back and ask. And so the outcome that I want for you, which is the outcome that I want for myself, is to become a clear visionary to create each one of those projects so that I become the most logical point of person in the area of entrepreneurial business coaching, business mentoring and certification. So what is that? What you would, I would want you to come up with that outcome and that will be in the homework for session one. And I would also want you to be able to develop and monetize your passions. Now, as I said, some of you may not want that monetization for 2021, but you want specific other things. We need to find that out and have it written down. No doubt self-esteem and sense of independence will soar. There is absolutely no doubt about that now. And you will also become, you know, an extra part of this extended family and to be with people that you can have conversations with that are of the same mindset. And I think also that you become, oh, I have done it twice. Well, I think that's really important. It should be there twice. <laughs> so does anybody have any questions at this point about, things that you may want or things that you have questions about as to some of the things that I've gone through or show on or something that I was not totally clear about around what this program can, you know, can do for you. No, everybody's clear. So you know that this is very achievable. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So you've already told me what you want to take away from today. So I now want to hear, did you get your expectations met? And then I want you to write down what it is that you are taking away from today that could get you from here to the time that you want to start, if you enroll, that you want to start with the program. What is it that you've learned? What is it that might have been an aha moment? What is it that goes, oh, yeah, I think I could do that between now and the 15th? Kate. Can we hear you? Oh no, Kate, you have to unmute. Sorry, I muted everybody. Sorry. I realized while you were talking that, uh, and I was taking the notes, the outcome of my system is absolutely nothing I expected. I do, the thing I did expect was pain relief um, after a very short time, and the person administers the technique to themselves. I in no way work on them. I give them information, teach them how to apply it, encourage them to keep applying. But what happened is results that never entered my mind could happen by the person connecting to themselves and connecting to their body. And so I realized I have to get another name for another depth for what I do. And I may need help in the group defining that so I can come up with a snappy name that says it in a minute in, in very quickly. So are you, are you starting to see an ascension program? Beg pardon? Are you starting to see an ascension process here? Oh, I already have an ascension process uh, in place. I've never talked about it. But uh, no, this is what, what, what I teach has results that I don't advertise that I didn't know existed until I had case studies. And I keep getting the consistent feedback from people who are doing 
many things under my tutelage. So I don't know how to describe it to allow more people to get interested. Fabulous. So I think what you're taking away is you need help with being able to get that clarity. Yes, the, yeah. I'm counting on the group for listening clearly and giving really good feedback, which this group is superlative at. Yeah, beautiful. Fabulous. Who else? Who else has a comment? And this? thank you for the reminder. I'd forgotten that. Didn't write it down. Mm, that's okay. I think it's really important to be able to know where you're going from what you've just done. Yeah. You have you have to unmute yourself if you want to ask. Yeah. Yeah. So I well, there's lots of takeaways, but I loved hearing Patricia because it's similar to like what I'm trying to achieve. Not that it's a handbag, but consulting spiritual for me down the track after I get a few of the other ones off the list first. But when I see someone like you trying to do all these things as well, it's I find it really um, comforting because so many times, like we're, you know, we're all drilled to do one thing, focus on one thing, and that is true. But there's still hope that we can still do all of the passion, not all at once, like do one thing but get it done. And um, yeah, and I really related to everything you said because I'm like, oh, that's what's going on with me. So yeah, thank you. <laughs> That's great. And is there something that you can see that you can clearly do between now and the 15th? Well, I, yeah, I am really busy at the moment. I've got my first auction coming up and I really just, I need to get that over the line. So a lot of these things are unfortunately going on the back burner, which is why I need the calendar, I guess. But I think over the next week, once I settle back into home and I get this auction thing out of, um, not out of the way, but I deal with that, and I get into more of a routine being back here at home. And yeah, it's going to make a difference to be able to put all these, the core visions, the core things that I want to do together. And make Fantastic. It. So I see you're similar to Kate in a way. Kate set up a working station, a creative station. You are also now going home and setting up a station for yourself and put, building your routines and rituals around it. Yes. Yeah, beautiful. So that's a big thing to do. Patricia, what are you taking away? And is there something that you think you could do between now and the 15th? You have to unmute yourself. You have to unmute yourself. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was, uh, I was mute. Uh, sorry. Yeah, uh, from now to the 15th, it's a uh, basically polish you know uh what i uh, you know some of the stuff that i needed to to uh, do with my website um uh, i got some reviews from people that i worked with them so i need to um update that put it put it over there um and yeah so basically uh um, that until the 15th this is not is probably like a not even a week right so and, and then, um, yeah, but may, mainly that, I, I wanted just to have that, uh, you know, make it look a little bit better and, and until that, until that, that time. And uh, um, yeah, so tomorrow I have a meeting with, uh, with uh, actually somebody from uh, Perth for, about the bag because they are an electronic company who actually are, uh, we're, we're trying to, to see if we can, working the prototype of the electronic part of the bag and because uh, i told them this uh, my purpose is to have the prototype working because what i wanted to do i wanted to raise money with investors to be able to have you know like uh, the the production right so uh so they know what i want so they said okay i we can do something functional Maybe you know not a hundred percent the one that you really wanted, but something like a working, something like it's good to show, it's good to 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 pitch, and um, that's what I wanted to do until the fifteenth too, because the meeting is tomorrow. So we'll see what they said. Fabulous. So everybody's got a very clear outcome that they want to get to by the fifteenth. It's awesome. Yeah. So I haven't decided if I'm going to run this yet because I, I want to have 10 people in here. And so 
if you were to go, if you were to go and you know register, and I think at the moment it's seventy nine dollars or something or other, it's something ridiculous. If you were to register that, and I and I wasn't to do it, I'd just give you money back. So you know, at, at least tell me if you are going to do it. If you're not going to go and register and pay the money because then I will include you and then I'll be making a decision. And I probably won't make a decision until like Friday. Today's only Tuesday because there were people coming through going, oh, I can do it, man, I can't do it. I've sent them to the page so they can look at the dates. You know, it depends. So yeah, I, I have to look at the day because I was looking right now, the day is the 15th and the, uh, it starts, of course. And then I'm going back to, to Malaysia you know, at the end of the month, and it's, you know, like a kind of, you know, this week, Christmas time, and I have to, of course, you know, try to spend as much time with my daughter, but I'll, I'll, I'll see, it depends on the timing uh, over here and uh, in Canada, because then it will be continued. If I, if we go to Malaysia, no, it's not going to be a problem there because we're going to be quarantined anyways. So that, will, that that's not going to be an issue. It's just this week until the end of the month for me, it's, it's like quite, um, uh, you know, uh, an issue to to be honest, but I'll I'll see the time right now. I haven't looked at well. I just saw the date, so we'll see the time uh, for me. You know, and then uh, hopefully it works because I, I really wanted to do it. Yeah, we'll see how you go. You know, it's a tricky time of the year, but I also know that it's important to do it before the beginning of the year starts, so you actually have right. that that clarity before the year right. begins rather than trying to do it at the end of January and the year's already started. It's already got its own energy going. Yeah. <laughs> really. So um, we have gone three minutes over time and I really apologize about that. Um, if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, email me, text me, whatever you all know where to get hold of me. And then I'll be in touch maybe late Thursday or Friday to say, okay, we have enough people and we're going to go ahead. Okay, sounds very good. Yeah, yeah. By yeah. Thursday, yeah, yeah. Sure. I'm, just, I'm gonna take a look at everything today. By tomorrow, I'll know for sure, and I'll let you know. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah, fantastic. I'm gonna be doing it anyway for myself because I've pretty much got mine done. But I'm gonna t tweak it. So yeah. But I will do it at different times. But if you guys want to come along with me and do it, fantastic. So does anybody have any questions or anything before we leave? Okay. I have one quick question. If Patricia could type in her website, so we can go and look at it. Yes, they the look chapter. fabulous, Kate. They're so cool. Sure. Yes, please, Patricia. Yeah, oh, let me see over here, right? Okay, yeah, okay. Just one second, because I am right now. Um, so you go to the chat, right? Oh, there you go. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, just one second. I, the corrector makes me do. So Di, I'm keen for sure, and I will try to round up one or two more people. I started to, and then I, I wasn't sure about, um, anyway, that's another story. But yeah, I'm the same as Patricia, like the, fifth, the 16th is when the auction is on. So I'm sure the day before I'm going to be a nervous wreck, the day before on the day and even the day after I might be still tidying up um, whatever happens on that day. So, but I'm, yeah, keen. Um, let me know. I mean, maybe we have to restructure it. I, I don't know. These are the dates that I put down that I thought could work to get through the workload. Yeah, and it's, it's probably really okay thing. because it's, it's the time isn't like first thing in the morning and it's not six o'clock when the auction's on, so it's probably doable still. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I also want to make it late morning so someone like Demetrius can join and then someone like Kate can join. Yeah. So, yeah, that's I, it's Christmas holidays. All the conveyances are closed. So, yeah, I don't have anything else on it except being with the kids and I've done that for nine months, so I'm all good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 
funny. <laughs> okay, everybody. <laughs> um, love to you all, and um, I'll talk to you soon. All right, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Bye bye. 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 bye.